So in this video, we're going to make one of these clips that you see right here. This is made from a 50 caliber bullet and I paid $9.97 for that at my local military surplus store. So we're just going to chuck this up and yeah, I'm just going to hold it by the bullet. I don't really care what happens to the bullet. I don't have a use for it. Uh, you can see this is a spent cartridge. The backside has, has been dimpled and then the hole drilled out on the side so there's nothing going on inside there. And then we're just going to use a good old Dremel with a uh, cutting bit. Um, so anyway, then we're just going to I'm just going to cut it down the middle and I probably want to go about three inches in length or close to here. Um, yeah, anywhere down here I'd be fine. And I'm just going to rip it straight in half along here and then I'll divide it up afterwards. Okay, now we're changing this out again. Uh, I'm going to probably go through about three, three or four of these just to cut and shape these. So I'm just going to cut these in half right here. grab a needle nose pliers to pick that up you can see how thick that end is solid brass where the firing uh, little thing goes anyway I like the back side of the of the casing because it's much thicker brass back here and uh, I'm gonna start from the midsection or I'm gonna get rid of this the back end and I'm gonna work from here down for the um, for the shape of the clip. So this is the part that I left that I cut off and I'll just discard that. I don't have a use for this. So this is the, the half that I cut off and you can see that I'm gonna cut just at that line right there on the back side and just sort of work around these lines but I'll leave a little bit extra and that's just a little bit of a guideline to work with and I left it a little bit long as far as the length goes maybe that's about two and a half inches uh, for the clip
probably just spend some time on that shaping it later. Okay, to start some of the shaping on this clip, we have, see it's really rough. We're going to go through, we're going we're going to use a couple different sizes of the drum sanders and a flap sander on the Dremel. We'll go ahead and get started on that next. Kind of hard to hold so I'm going to put this back in the jaw. Okay we can see how it's definitely a different shape from there to there so we just got to even those up. Switching back to my cutting bit. start to drill these out I got a couple of dimples that I use the nail punch and a hammer to dimple on either side and I have a I have a 5 64 drill bit in the chuck and I'm just gonna drill those holes And then we'll go ahead and uh, go back to the, the lathe and then we'll polish this out. OK, 
Okay, so at the lathe, I've got my homemade polishing wheel here. I already charged the wheel with some uh, buffing compound. And uh, that is just a buffing and polishing compound that I've uh, had for years. Got a few more scratches right there above out. Oh, that looks pretty good. And we'll just shape it. So I'll just grab it from little junction right there in the middle where the T's and I'm gonna bend this back it's very stiff okay then I'm gonna move it up a quarter of an inch or so then bend it back And then from the other end, I'm just going to go a uh, quarter of an inch to three eighths of an inch. Put a slight bend on it. And that's exaggerated. And then I can just readjust that later. And then I'll just hit this again on the buffer. One more time. Anyway, that's how I make my clips. So, hope you like it.